Hey everyone, welcome to this new moon sidereal astrology forecast. This is for the new moon on Monday, June 3rd, 2019. All right, so time of new beginnings, new moon in Taurus. If you were expecting me to say Gemini just then, be sure to check out the link down below for more information. We are using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so new moon in Taurus, the bull, great time for now developing these qualities of ourself, which you could say is about our inner resourcefulness. Great time for developing things like our self-reliance at this time, our inner strength, inner stability, and from this, maybe connecting to these outer resources. Great time for developing things like material values, material security, connecting to nature, being grateful for what we have in the material realm. These kinds of things are really good to develop this lunar month. So with this, the new moon is going to be in a T-square with Jupiter square Neptune that we've had this year. So there is some integration perhaps needed collectively with this new moon in the sense that it's a great time for taking some initiative and maybe challenging ourselves. And in the context of if there is any potentials, maybe over or even under inspiration, good to see the potentials and work towards them. This square has been a great year for building towards our dreams and ideals, and this new moon can certainly be a step in the right direction with that. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail. We're in return. All right, so here is the chart for the new moon, and the new moon will be at 0500, 0459 or 0500 uh, Eastern time of the Americas on Monday, if you do wanna make that calculation uh, for wherever you are in the world there. But for all intents and purposes, we'll be feeling it um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and that's what this video is for here. All right, so new moon, Taurus the bull, time of new beginnings, all new moons are a time of subtle energy. It is the lowest energy part of the lunar cycle, and it's just a good time to sit with it and see what new is arising. Now, this is going to be in different areas for all of you. So down in the comment section, I will put which house this is. For some of you, it might be about career. Others maybe relationships, home, whatever the area might be. So that'll be the personal side to it. But collectively, it is in the constellation Taurus. Now, Taurus the bull is about connecting to that slow and steady side of ourself, the grounded side of ourself, and the side that is firm-footed, you know, taking things one step at a time in life and stopping to smell the roses while slowly building towards our values. So a great time to sit and just see what new qualities are arising within that we can now develop during this lunar month. Some collective things could be your resourcefulness, great time for developing that um, you know, inner sense of natural gifts, natural abilities, self-reliance, the belief in ourselves that we can attain and attract and take action towards our values in life and mustering up that inner strength and inner stability to do these things, right? To cultivate these values one step at a time. So this inner strength, inner resourcefulness, self-reliance, excellent time for cultivating during this new moon. Now, this is the internal side to it, but of course, there's always that external as well. So this is also a great time as we muster up the inner resources to cultivate our outer resources. Great time for setting intentions with things for our material values, attaining greater material security perhaps in our life, connecting to nature, right? enjoying nature, the natural world, good meals, our senses, and even luxuries and enjoyments can be Taurus. You know, it's very much about relaxing into that material security. So these types of things can also be uh, great uh, intentions we can set during this new moon in Taurus. All right, so uh, this new moon is gonna be forming a T-square and squares are about challenging ourselves. At least that's a really good way of working with them. So in this case, with the uh, opposition up to Jupiter, there might, there might be with this new moon, maybe some over or under ideals, maybe feeling a little bit over or under inspired about certain potentials. Sometimes with oppositions, there can be a bit of that pendulum swing, but we are seeing them and it is about incorporating them, right? So merging the gap, 
closing the gap between those potentials and possibilities and taking action in such a way that it is you know, towards them. Because with oppositions, sometimes with Jupiter, we may rest on our laurels, maybe get a bit lazy with it, but it is good to take that action, that fire energy, to incorporate some of those, in this case, inspirations or beliefs or potentials that we could be noticing or feeling with this new moon. Now, the square to Neptune is this energy we've had all year, which has made it an excellent year for building towards not only these potentials, but really our dreams and ideals, right? So with the square to Neptune in particular, the natural default with this might be to fantasize, might be to have those dreams, maybe sometimes to escape as well. So good to be conscious if there are any elements of ourself that you know, we're, we're wanting to escape reality or the present moment in some way. But with the integration with this square, with the action, it's yes, building towards these dreams and potentials and challenging ourselves to incorporate more presence, more acceptance in the now moment, right? Incorporate more peace, more acceptance of what is, right? This kind of stuff, essentially challenging ourselves towards what you might call our spiritual development, and also making sure we're getting plenty of alone time, rest, sleep, peace, creative time, and yes, dreams, allowing the mind to wander, because there is usually an indication in terms of what we you know, dream or idealize or come, you know, become intuitively aware of, that that can certainly lead us towards these towards this sort of life path, you could say, with the Jupiter square up to Neptune. So great time to do this. And again, squares are about taking action. So with this new moon, it is good to initiate both the spiritual acceptance of Neptune, the fire action of potentials with Jupiter in this slow and steady way of Taurus. All right, so that's the most important stuff with the new moon. Uh, but the ruler of Taurus, Venus, is shifting out of fiery Aries and into Taurus. So that's going to place more of an emphasis on this grounded energy. But we'll likely notice a contrast um, from, let's say, about the previous three weeks, where when it comes to these values, we've probably been valuing things more about maybe taking action and initiative, maybe about values of independence and our desires, it's been more fiery in nature, but Venus shifting into Taurus is really gonna place more of an emphasis on this, uh, on this grounded energy of the new moon. And this is actually a very comfortable place for Venus to be in. She's in domicile here, so also a bit of supportive energy for, again, being grateful and enjoying uh, these material values in life. All right, so that's the uh, new moon there. Now, in terms of the aspects, Venus is actually trining up to Pluto around the same time as the full moon here around Sunday, Monday. And so this can actually be quite supportive for self-empowerment. It's a great new moon for seeing if there are any changes that you do want to make. And if there's any empowerment that can be mustered with this, this can be very transformative. Um, this is great for breaking cycles facing fears. There's no real challenge with that. It's just something that will likely feel that comes across quite easy, just feeling a bit self-empowered and maybe even enjoying some depth, intimacy, transformation, right? Empowerment, these types of things really supporting the new moon. All right, everyone. So that's the new moon in a nutshell. Uh, no other major aspects that we have. Again, it's going to be at 0459 on uh, Monday. Um, and that's going to be Eastern time of the Americas based on uh, wherever you are in the world. You can make that calculation. But yeah, time of new beginnings. Good time to just sit with the energy. As we do approach Monday, you know, we are still closing out the previous lunar month. So Sunday in particular, good time for just finalizing things, tying up loose ends, maybe creating some space, right? Some endings with the previous cycle. And slowly as we go into next week, Tuesday, Wednesday onward, noticing these uh new shifts of perspective, or maybe even quite literally new things uh, in our lives that can be blossoming from this new moon. And again, Taurus the Bull is essentially about connecting to that grounded side of ourself that is slow and steady, working towards our material uh, values on an inner level, what really matters on a deeper level, and uh, mustering up that resourcefulness, self-reliance, inner strength to cultivate these values in life. All right, everyone, so have a fantastic new moon. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click that uh, like button if you haven't yet, if you enjoyed the video. And um, see you all next time for the next daily video. Take care.